Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Amy if you're new. And um, this is my July project use it up. So in my project use it ups, I do them monthly and I do uh, body care and home fragrance all in one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump in and I think I'm gonna start with body care. So the oldest thing that I have here and probably in my collection entirely is this travel size in the stars body cream and it's from 2020. I was thinking it was from 2019, but yeah. So I don't know if I have anything older than this or not. Anyway, um, this little one actually has the notes on it. So it's starflower, sandalwood musk, sugar tangelo, white agar wood, and radiant amber. Okay, so the theme this month is clearly red, white, and blue for the 4th of July. And um, this is in the stars, so I'm going to do like star-related things, kind of. So that's kind of where I went with this. Red, white, and blue, and then stars. <laughs> okay, so travel size of this. And then, um, okay, so this I have is the body cream. Okay, I'm videoing in something new, and I don't know if I really like it. Um, so I have not tried this yet. This one I purchased in, like, it was in December of 2021. It was the body care sale. So I think this was $4.95, I want to say. So it is brand new, but it's very glittery, and I don't know if I'm going to like that. So we'll see. And this is also new. I have not used this. Okay, so this... And then um, I did throw in, this lotion is from 2020 as well. So I guess the other one I had was from 2019. I think I used it last August or something. Um, so I threw this in here. I don't know if I'm going to actually get to this or not, um, but it's in here. And then I picked this up at Walmart. So it's the Shooting Star. It's the dupe. So here's what I thought. So let me see if this has notes. Okay, this does. This says that it's Juicy Cassis Peony Blooms Baltic Amber. It's B-A-L-T-I-C, Baltic. I don't know what that is. Amber. And the scent category is Fruity. That's interesting because this, I would say, is more woody. And like aromatic woody. Um. So anyway, let me see this. I haven't really used this either. My plan is, so especially like if I'm going to work, I don't want to have glitter like all over my arms. So I thought if nothing else, just because I like the scent of this, I wish they would make some with glitter for people who like it and then plain for people who don't. Um, but so my, if it's too glittery for me, then I thought, well, I can just put this on my legs and then this on like the upper half of my body. So that's why, and I feel like it'll take probably a while to even get through this. So that's why I don't know if I'll get to this one yet or not. So, and then if this one isn't that strong, this will kind of make up for it being on my legs, I feel like. So anyway, that's my thought with that. Um, and then two pocket back. So this pocket back is like about halfway. So I went ahead and added another one so I'm going to try to get both of these used up and then a scrub I have an in the stars scrub which is the celestial scrub these I actually do like I thought they were just going to be like glittery body wash but they do actually work like so yeah I'll be using that and then my daughter got this at semi-annual sale and she's excited to use it so I told her she could use it in July and then I know I'll go through this, so I'll probably be using some of this with her as well. Okay, so I think that's it as far as body care. Um, I still have this Palm Peach, Palm Beach Breeze shower, what are these called? Washer whiffs that I'm using and um, it's blue. <laughs> so that's where I'm at on that. I'll continue to use those. 
And then I have probably mostly in my son's room, I'll be using Sheer Vanilla Embrace. I just grabbed one because I have like stockpile of these kinds of things. <laughs> so this is what he's going to be using. I thought, I don't know, this scent kind of, I think would go good with In the Stars, even though that's body care. I did make, I have an In the Stars dupe oil and I made some wax last uh, November. So I have these that I'm, so these are just like in a little glass container that I actually had gotten other wax in. She had made like Fruit Loop cereal. I think there was a strawberry one, a blueberry one. I think I have one more of these. But anyway, I will just sit these on a hot plate and just let them melt out. So, but this does smell really nice. And then another one that I made is, okay, so I re, so the Stars and Stripes candle, this feels so heavy. Let me see the difference here. Hmm. I don't know. The Stars and Stripes candle, this candle I used last year, but when I was making that wax, I did a cherry scented wax. I feel like it has settled so much. Like it's like, looks like it's been halfway used. I don't know if I put too much oil in these. It's said to do like an ounce of oil per pound of wax, but this smells so good. So what I was planning to do, it looks so soft. I think I'm just gonna stick this under my heat lamp or, and then maybe on my hot plate warmer. I'm not gonna try to chop this. I feel like it would just be mush. <laughs> so I need to find some different wax. This is a soy wax I think that I, oops, got at um, Michael's. So if anyone has, I think I saw online like a garden, something garden that they sell wax, like candle stuff. Oh, that's cute with my little flag. <laughs> um, here, let me do a thumbnail. I don't know, maybe not. Actually, you know what? I wanted to do, let me do this before I forget. We're gonna do like, wait. We're gonna do like, oh, I didn't even grab the shower gel yet. We're gonna do this. Okay, I should be able to get a screenshot of that. Um, Anyway, I'm going to just warm this up somehow. And then two other candles I have. I have this blue raspberry snow cone from Bath and Body Works. Haven't used that. And the notes are blue raspberry syrup, hint of cherry, scooped, scoop of shaved ice. And that's it. So I'll use that. And then I have this one from Aldi that I purchased in 2020. It's the red, white, and blueberry. And I bought two of these and I actually melted the first one in 2020 and it was a great performer. Uh, I could smell it all through my house. So if this doesn't perform, then it just got old. Mmm, that smells so good. So this one smells, because they smell a little different. This one smells like a bomb pop, like a red, white, and blue bomb pop. I get that cherry in there. This one, I think I get more blueberry but it's like soft. It's not like bakery or anything. It's still kind of like a, so if this is a red, white, and blue bomb pop, this is just probably like a slightly blueberry, like slushy. <laughs> yeah, so slushy and bomb pops. <laughs> and then let's see, I did, I won't, I don't wanna forget about this. I also have a shower gel of In The Stars that I plan to use. And I purchased this in 2020. So get that used up. And then my wallflower I'm using is the red, white, and blueberry cake. It's so hard to see. And the notes on this one are red raspberries, uh, ripe blueberries, whipped vanilla cream, and soft white cake. And I got this last year, so the semi-annual sale. I actually went to Bath & Body Works last July, and the semi-annual sale was still going on. And I think I got two of these, I want to say, for a dollar something. Okay, so on to some wax. So I have from Sassy Girl Aroma, this Firework Pop. Gosh, it's, there we go. Okay, the notes are a fruity burst of red cherry, fresh citrus, and juicy berry. So I think this is the Firecracker Pop, the original one. I think 
this is supposed to be a dupe. So the notes on this, on the firecracker pop is red cherry, which this says red cherry, juicy berry, this says juicy berry. Oh, this one just says, oh wait, red cherry, fresh citrus and juicy berry. A red cherry, fresh citrus and juicy berry. So it's definitely a dupe. So I'm excited about this because I loved this candle so much last year. And I guess instead of doing the red, white and blue, she just went with like a colorful firework on this one. So, but I still threw that one in there. Okay, some um, other wax I have, and then I have um, a couple of hand soaps too. Okay, so I have this red, white, and berry pie. I felt like this was very fitting from Scentsy. And this, I definitely get like the bakery note the pine like this I can smell like I feel like it is like cherry filling and then the crusty pie the crusty pie that don't sound good the crust on the pie <laughs> um okay so then I have maraschino sugar cookie and I took this out of my club because I thought that I had enough cherry scents and yeah I wish I would have left it in there Ooh, this one's juicy look okay so here's my thought my theory. Oh, this is so good. If this comes back, I'm probably going to, I hope it comes back in a brick. I want to buy this in a brick and I'll probably throw this back in my club. Um, Ooh, here's what I wonder. So when people make scoopable wax, they put, um, I think it's olive oil in it to make it like be able to scoop. So I wonder if Scentsy does something like that to make their wax softer. And if that's why it gets like real liquidy easier. But then it's interesting because I got these at the same time and this one's perfectly fine. So I don't understand that. But this maraschino sugar cookie is so good. I haven't warmed it yet, but I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to warming this. So yeah, and I hope that I still like it as much as I do. And then I also have, um, let's see, Apple cherry strudel. Oh wait, no, I didn't get these at the same time. Wait, I think I got this one at the same time as I got the maraschino sugar cookie. I think I just got the red, white, and berry pie, I think. Yeah. Okay, yes, 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 yes. So this one, the apple cherry strudel. Um, I don't really care for this one. I think I do get the apple. I wonder if this has slight, a slight bit of uh, cinnamon or something. Yeah, I definitely, this will be a one and done for me. These two I really like. I don't know which one, let's see. I think I like maraschino sugar cookie better. Yeah, I think I like this one better. So if for some reason you had to choose, in my opinion. Wait, yeah, this one's way better. Okay, that focusing is driving me nuts. Okay, and then so two here from Walmart is the vanilla cherry swirl. So at first I thought this was a dupe to the maraschino sugar cookie, like in the store. Um, let me smell these. Oh, it's got a completely different. Okay, this one's a red, white, and berry pie. And. Um, hmm. Okay, definitely not maraschino sugar cookie, but I think it could be similar. It's slightly, okay, it's so, it's almost like, this is like a brighter, so this is the red, white, and berry pie. This is almost like the canned bright cherries, and this is almost like, like actual fresh cherries. But these two smell close. I wonder if when they're burning, if I, or melting, or warming, whatever, if I would be able to tell the difference of these. But anyway, so I put two of these. I think I still have like two or three more of these that I'm just saving. I don't know if they still have that one at Walmart or not. I got it a couple months ago. And then some blue wax. I threw in a blueberry sherbet, or people say sherbet. <laughs> um, this is like a tangy blueberry. I think I have a um, 
a Walmart like wall plug that smells like this. I guess I could have melted that too, but yeah, I did chose the red, white, and blue pie or cake. Okay, and then I have just another blue scented wax. I have a rainwater and moss from Walmart. Oh wait, these have, let's see if these have notes. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. So I don't know the notes on Scentsy, but the vanilla cherry swirl is cherry vanilla, buttercream, and sugar cane. And the blueberry sherbet is lemon, blueberry, and sugar cane. And then this rainwater and moss is rainwater, lotus, lavender, red cedar, frosted patchouli, and moss scent notes. Okay, this smells like very masculine. Although, okay, so this is kind of funny. So it's like, I like this. I bought like five of these and then I thought, well, if I don't like it, I think my mom would. Um, but I only, I only put one in here. So this actually smells, so, okay, I um, work in the medical field. I work with a lot of patients. Um, I could almost see like a 70 year old man, <laughs> like his cologne smelling like this kind of. <laughs> like it smells good, it's strong, but it's almost like an older person, like older man scent. But anyway, I'll be interested to see if I don't like these, I'll just pass these on to my mom or if I don't like this one. And then another blue one I have is a whipped vanilla and blackberry from Walmart. And I don't know why their wax is always like, I don't know, not smooth. Like, let me see this one. This one's kind of like that. I'm like, do they get hot? Now this one was okay, I think. Okay, this one was okay. So I don't know if it's just like the brand or the delivery. This one's like kind of weird. Yeah, and that's like, let's see. Oh, it's just weird. Um, okay, so anyway, this one's back to this one. Uh, this one is a uh, blackberry, raspberry, blueberry, vanilla, and cream. So that's whipped vanilla and blackberry. And then the last wax that I have is stargazing because, well, we're talking about stars this month. <laughs> Not the stars in this, but I mean, it's the stars on the flag, but I just counted it. I mean, it's blue anyway. And like in the stars, I know it's the sky, but it's fine. Oh, and this one, it's pretty shiny. So I don't know why some do and some don't. This is like, I don't know how to describe this, kind of powdery. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. We'll see whenever I melt it. This, this might just be like a one cube at a time one. <laughs> okay, and then for my car, my blue scent here is the Berry Bright. So I just have one of these left, so I'll put this in my car. And then I have two soaps. So I have the Firecracker Fizz. And I think this is so cute and I love this scent, especially in hand soap, something is wet. And then the, so this will probably go in the bathroom. And then the other scent that I'll probably put in the kitchen is Blueberry Crumble. And let's see if these notes are the same. These are the same as the candle. And this Blueberry Crumble is fresh blueberries, brown sugar, glaze, and a dash of cinnamon. And I don't know if I'm really going to like this one. Um, I bought it and, you know, it's just been sitting in my collection. And then a friend also got it. And I think I tried it at her house and I wasn't a huge fan. But she had it in her bathroom. I think it would be better in the kitchen. So, anyway, that's my um, Febu or February. That's my July <laughs> project to use it up. And, yeah, if you enjoyed, uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.